What is going on, y'all? My name is Spice of the Spice Camp Fish. Today, we are out here at a beautiful little pond. It is, I think, the third day of fall, so it's officially fall fishing. Fall is my favorite time of the year, not just for fishing purposes, but just in general. I love fall. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving. I love the crisp morning air. I just, I love everything about fall. It's fantastic. But of course, fishing in fall is honestly one of the best times of the year to be fishing. These fish are real hungry. Uh, they're just feeding up for winter, so they gotta get as fat as possible. So usually they're schooling up on bait fish. And generally any sort of bait fish imitation, like uh, top waters, uh, chatter baits, spinner baits, uh, swim jigs, anything moving, stuff like that tends to be the deal this time of year until it gets super cold and then you have to pick up like finessey stuff. But I was down at this pond yesterday, uh, just trying to film a big bait video. Uh, that didn't work out very well. You guys won't ever see that footage because I didn't catch anything. But I did see a lot of fish. I had a lot of fish following my bait in, uh, little tiny ones as well as a couple of decent sized ones. But I figured I'd come out here and try and get on a few topwater fish since I saw there were so many fish in here. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I have popper tied on and then once that sun comes up a little bit higher, I have a little uh, drop shot that I'm gonna throw around as well. But yeah, we're just packing light. I got a couple hours that I have to kill before I gotta go to class this morning. So uh, I figured I'd just come out here and try and get on a couple of fish real fast. But yeah, enough of me yapping. I wanna get in the water. So uh, I'm gonna get you guys strapped on my chest and we're gonna see if we can get after some fish. All right, like I said, I'm packing pretty light today. Just have that drop shot tied on. And then I also have this little popper. So I'm gonna throw around this little spot over here for a little bit. See if we can't find a few fish. Uh, I'm gonna probably work pretty quick this morning, uh, just because I would like to get over to the other side of the pond and fish there uh, before the sun comes up. I'm trying to get a couple of top water fish. He's got it. Finally, got a fish. What is that? Is that a crappie? Oh no, it's a bass. Jeez, he looks, he's so dark. Very dark, largemouth. All right, finally, god dang. Been out here forever. Just now getting my first fish. Been bit a bunch. This is officially the first largemouth of the morning. How long have I been recording for? Two hours and two minutes. First fish of the day. <laughs> Got him good though. Throwing a drop shot around. And uh, yeah, little guy, not a giant by any means, but I'll take that coming out of a little pond like this for sure. All right, buddy, appreciate the bite. Later. Wrong way, wrong way. You went the wrong way. You gotta go that way. There you go. There you go. You figured it out. All right. Hell yeah. All right. Well, there we go. Finally got ourselves largemouth. Been out fishing, like I said, for I think about two hours. And just now finally landed the first fish. They do seem like they're pretty hot on this drop shot this morning. I've gotten a few bites. I just keep pulling it out of their mouth for whatever reason. But, uh... Finally, finally hooked up with one. Got into the bank. Well, there's another one. Got him. That's a better fish. It's a little better one. A little bit better. Not that much. Oh, he popped off. No way. Oh. No. I'm so sad. These are the worms we're using, by the way. They are the Robo Worms in the Margarita Mutilator color, four and a half inch, and I'm just taking it and uh, essentially wacky rigging it on this little drop shot. I feel like a lot of people will nose hook baits on a drop shot, and I do that also, uh, especially if I'm using like a smaller little uh, like bait fish style imitator, I guess. But if I'm using something a little bit longer like this, something like a finesse worm, uh, a lot of the times I will wacky rig them or I'll also Texas rig them if I'm fishing around like really heavy cover. You fish it with like a real light, like one-aught hook or so. And uh, 
yeah, it comes through the cover really easily and these fish seem to like it. But this morning I opted for the uh, wacky rig just because there's a little bit less grass out here. Uh, so we're going with a wacky rig drop shot. And that margarita mutilator is a pretty interesting color too. It's like a uh, bright purple on top and then like just like a peanut butter brown color on the bottom. Really interesting looking color. I love anything with purple on it. I think it does a great job of imitating bluegill and I think purple is just like an underutilized color in general. People like black and blue, black and red or stuff with red or blue flake in it. But I think purple flake does a great job of imitating a uh, like a bluegill or something. It's just something a little bit different that again a lot of people don't throw. Just got that paired up on a little, uh, I think it's like an eighth ounce uh, drop shot weight. And then like a little uh, one uh owner mosquito hook. I'll leave everything that we're catching fish on today linked down in the description for you guys to go check out if you want to. But yeah, let's see if we can get ourselves a few more fish. I don't have a ton more time before I have to go to class. But, I do want to get on a couple more. Here's a bite. He's got it. Yes! Finally got another little fish. Oh, not a bad one. All right. Okay, buddy. All right. I fight pretty hard in here, at least. Sweet. Number two of the day. Finally, he choked that thing. Jeez. There we go. He wasn't bleeding or anything, I just had him hooked in the roof of the mouth, kind of in an awkward position, so just opted to go for the pliers. But there we go, little fish. Not as big as the first one, but uh, I will definitely take him for sure. All right, little buddy, appreciate it. See ya. All right, there we go. Another fish on this little robo worm. I think I might call it for right now. I, again, have to get to class pretty soon. I've actually stayed a lot longer than I should have stayed, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go run home, go to class, grab some more baits, because I've almost run myself out of this pack of robo-worms. And uh, I think we'll come back out here later at some point and uh, see if we can get on a few more fish. For whatever reason this morning, these fish did not really want to bite. I got a good few bites, but it wasn't, like, on fire or anything. So I think maybe giving this pond a couple hours of rest and then maybe coming back later. Might not be such a bad call, but yeah, I'm gonna go run to class, do a little bit of homework, and uh, try and get out here for like an afternoon session or something. See if we can't get on a few more fish. Later. All right, folks, we are back. It is round two at the same pond. Went and got class done, got my homework done, and now I am good for the rest of the weekend which feels fantastic. I'm gonna head on down towards this half of the pond. That's where I got most of my bites this morning. And this half of the pond's pretty damn shallow. I found that out this morning. It seemed like it was only about two or three foot all the way across. At least from over here, it gets out to like six, seven foot maybe. So I think these fish should probably be a little bit more down this way where they can get up in the shallow water, but then also can get back in deeper water if they get uncomfortable. So I got that drop shot still tied on, and I also tied on a Texas rig for a crawl, and uh, I have a double fluke rig ready to go, just in case uh, I start seeing those fish bust along the surface again. But we're gonna go on down by the water over here, and uh, see if we can find ourselves some bass. Just gonna start off with that same drop shot worm that I was throwing earlier, since I had some decent bites on it. And uh, we're gonna cast around this area for a bit and then work our way down that way. Uh, from what I remember yesterday, it seemed like the vast majority of fish were down that way in the corner and whatnot for whatever reason. So 
we're gonna work our way down there, but I figured we'd start over here because I did get a few bites over here this morning, so, you know, I'm just trying to figure out where these fish are at. I'd like to catch like two or three more, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, there's a fish. Little guy. Oh, he's actually not that little. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. First fish of the evening dangle fish. Nice. There we go. And a little chubby dude. Nice. All right, later dude. Thanks for the light. Another fish again on the little wacky rigged robo worm. I love that thing. That was kind of weird. I just kind of took this bait and flipped it out like this. Didn't really go out all that far. Just wanted to see how far down it went. Just trying to see how like where the deepest part of this pond is. And uh, yeah, I was just kind of working it back real slow like this and he bet it. Actually, not only did he bite it, he absolutely swallowed that thing. He really liked this little robo worm. But uh, we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a few more fish, maybe a few bigger fish. Gonna keep working our way down a little bit. We haven't even moved yet, so, you know, got a fish at the first spot, that's always a good sign. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, he dropped it. Pick it back up. Oh, he's got it. Got him. <laughs> nice. Little guy. <laughs> hey, but this thing a couple of times. Wow, that was a really small fish. Definitely the smallest one of the day. Ooh, a little pipsqueak. Nice, there we go. Even the little ones are pretty chubby. He's got a good little belly going on. Good for you, bud. Go get bigger. Later. Here's a bite. I think he's got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's got it. Oh Jesus. I think this guy's had it for a hot minute. Sorry buddy. Yeah, I know. Let him fight himself out for a sec. Oh, give us a little show. Yeah. All right, oh, you threw my worm. Really? I knew I shouldn't uh, let you do that. That was dumb of me. Oh well, I thought he was gonna choke this thing, but he just barely had it in the bottom of his mouth, which is sick. All right, buddy, appreciate you. Later. Oh my gosh, he just went face first into the dirt. Uh, well, he accidentally threw my worm, or I guess he purposefully threw my worm. He was trying to throw my bait, so that makes sense, but uh, he threw my worm. All right, let's grab another worm. Since that guy decided to throw mine the last possible second. That was my fault, I shouldn't have played around with him so much. It's all good though. Yeah, so this is gonna be the last one of these margarita, the, the margarita mutilators that I have. I have to pick some more up at some point. Honestly, I love Robo Worm plastics. They are sweet. They have some great looking colors. I think some of the best colors out of anybody on the market. And uh, yeah, they're super soft, so they get bit all the time. 
But uh, let's see. There was a school of fish over here. I feel like I probably scared a bunch of them. But there's at least a couple more over there that are just now scared. Oh, I'm getting bit again. Oh, no. I was getting bit again. That's crazy. There he is. Oh. Did that break off? Huh. I broke off. Oh, I am so sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Damn. Well, I should have retied, obviously, but. Damn. That feels ter. I feel awful about that. <sighs> well, shoot. I guess I'll retie. On a good note, I think we have uh, completely figured out the pattern for today. That being a drop shot. And uh, I am completely fine with that. I haven't thrown a drop shot in a while. So this should be pretty fun. It's always good to throw stuff that you don't normally throw a lot. And uh, especially in the late summer and uh, early fall, for whatever reason, these fish really like a drop shot around here. I think they're just starting to feed up on bait fish, and like a lot of the bait fish in here are either really, really small crappie or bluegill, or like little uh, fathead minnows. Or in this pond, I know there's golden shiners, so there's probably some small golden shiners in here, but a lot of the bait fish is pretty small for the most part. So I think a smaller presentation, like a drop shot or something like that, uh, these fish kind of naturally gravitate towards because it looks like pretty much exactly what they're eating. Like I said, that was the last robo worm, so uh, we're going to switch it up to a different kind of drop shot bait and throw these Pro Twitch Tail Minnows by Powerbait, or Berkeley Powerbait, I guess. The color of these is bleak. It's kind of just like a little natural minnow-ish color there. You can kind of see it better in the sun. Just kind of like a natural bait fish minnow-ish color with a bunch of purple and black flake in it. I really like this color. Pretty sweet. And again, does a really good job of imitating really just any kind of small bait fish. All right, try not to break this one off. I think I'm gonna call it. I am really tired. I haven't drank a lot of water today and it's getting pretty warm, so I'm just getting a little bit lightheaded. These fish don't want to bite anything anymore for whatever reason. I haven't gotten bit in like an hour and how long? An hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna go run back home. So uh, I'll meet you guys over there. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, go down below the like button for me. It lets me know that you guys like the content and also help more people see these videos. Also, if you guys wanna see some more content from me, you can hit that subscribe button down below. Put up a couple new videos every single week. So if you guys wanna see some more content from me, that's gonna be the way you can do it. It was kind of a slow day of fishing. Didn't get on any super big ones, but uh, it was good to get out of a new pond. Uh, I fished that pond a couple of times, never really had any uh, success or any luck out there, but it was good to finally get on a few fish out there and uh, figure out what they were doing at least a little bit. I'll leave the baits and the hooks down in the description for you guys to go check out if you wanna go pick some up for yourself. But uh, other than that, I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. Again, really hope you guys enjoyed. Check them and wreck them, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.